the title of this series of lectures signals the existence of what is very widely felt to be a growing challenge in our society. That is, the presence of communities which, while no less law-abiding than the rest of the population, relate to something other than the British legal system alone. There is no single comprehensive code. We do not simply have a standoff between two rival legal systems when we discuss Islamic and British law. On the one hand, Sharia depends for its legitimacy not on any human decision, not on votes or preferences, but on the conviction that it represents the mind of God. On the other hand, it is to some extent unfinished business so far as codified and precise provisions are concerned. To recognize Sharia is to recognize a method of jurisprudence governed by revealed texts rather than a single system. In a discussion based on a paper from Mona Siddiqui,